Persecution continues in Nigeria. Boko Haram has carried out abductions in the country that appear to target Christians, including priests. Clergy have also been killed. Nigeria's Catholic bishops have called on the government, stating in February, insecurity, clearly evident in widespread loss of lives and property, has left the impression that the country's leaders are either unable or, worse still, unwilling to take up the responsibilities of their office. Seminarian Brother George Agu Lehulawe, a Nigerian studying for the priesthood in the U.S., told me about the kidnappings and murders in his home country. It's really a sad situation. Brother George says Catholics in the U.S. should start paying attention to the persecution. One of the things I would do is uh, having the disposition to be aware of what is happening over there. In Nigeria, he says people of faith should be moved to act, and the government could work to provide jobs for those who might otherwise turn to crime. Prayer will be helpful, but prayer backed up with uh, action. The violence has extended beyond attacks on Catholic clergy. This week at a Baptist high school in the northwest part of the country, at least 120 children were taken from the school by armed kidnappers. In the same region last month, a Nigerian archbishop presided over the funeral of a murdered priest. The Archbishop of Kaduna said, we are here to pray for the repentance and conversion of the perpetrators of these heinous crimes. According to Enter Society, a Nigerian human rights organization, since June 2015, Islamist insurgents have killed an estimated 12,000 Christians in Nigeria. Highlighting the vulnerable state of the faithful, Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka has said, our only weapon is prayer. Mark Irons, EWTN News In-Depth.